Boltworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boltworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. What is going on, everybody? I hope you're doing well. My name is Andy with Boltworks Today, and in this video, we're going to get all the glass down for, on this foredeck. A bit of a surprise mail call and an unexpected twist for the end of the week. So let's get started. So this roll of 1708 is a little over four feet long. I mean, it, actually, it's exactly four feet, three inches. And this, the, the sections of glass that I'm going to be needing to peel off of here are going to be a little over eight feet long. And I was having a kind of a hard time figuring out how I was going to peel that long of a, pe a section off without it hitting the floor or, you know, getting dirty or, you know, what have you. So I took a look at the scaffolding and I said to myself, self, yeah, I think that'll do. So up to this point, I've done the majority of the sanding using the wide belt sander, and I think I had like 36 grit uh, you know, sanding belts on there. And I, I did not include that here in this video because honestly, there's only so much sanding you can watch. It's, it's kind of like watching paint dry. But anyways, uh, I, I got the, this forward area of the deck sanded down to the point where there's bare glass exposed in some areas, and then wherever it's not bare glass, it's the, the gel coat that's left is very, very thin, almost to the point where it's starting to become opaque. And as long as the gel coat that's left behind is in good condition, I mean, meaning that it's, it's not flaking off, and it's thin, uh, it, it's perfectly okay to, to lay glass over top of that. But that's the, you know, the, the thickness is kind of the key factor there. Thick gel coat, bad. Thin gel coat, yeah, that's okay. So since there were areas where the big belt sander just couldn't get in there, I'm going around here with the DA just trying to do some final last minute detail sanding. And after a quick cleanup with the vacuum and some compressed air, eh, now it's time to move on to step two. Well, that ended up being a little bit trickier than what I was anticipating. Now, it would have been a whole lot easier if I had another person here to help me, but you know, I, the situation is what it is. But I was able to get everything cut and fit, and overall, I think it looks really, really good. Now, as, as you saw in the video, uh, basically I've got two layers, you know, two full layers of 1708, each layer at 90 degrees to one another. Now, I did run just a little bit short on material uh, right down the center of this, of this uh, foredeck here. And you know, as you can see, it's basically it's right here. The width of the 1708 that I was using, I thought for sure was going to be wide enough to, to span the full beam of this, uh, of this deck. But it wasn't. It was, it was like literally three inches, a little bit too narrow. So what I ended up having to do was uh, on each side when I was doing the, the second layer, the ones that were running fore and aft, I had to kind of cant them in a little bit like this. 
But by having to kind of cant them a little bit like that, it, it kind of cut me short right along the center here, which is no big deal. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing is taking a little filler piece, and I'm just going to drop that right in over the center. And it's about, I don't know, 10, 12 inches wide. And so it'll overlap this, uh, you know, the port side as well as the starboard side, and then, and then also touch right down in bond with the, uh, the, the original first layer. But that's okay, because when I do all this, I'm intending to actually lay all the glass down all at once so it's wet on wet on wet, and everything should bond. I got plenty of overlap, and it, it should work out perfectly fine. Now, one thing that I am, I will say, I am uh, very happy with how it turned out, is along all of the edges, you know, I've got uh, a nice termination for the glass, and this actually worked out on, on both layers I turned around. A nice termination for the glass all the way around the edges, so essentially right where I was doing the grinding, or where I stopped the grinding, so come time for the, the actual fairing part, that's actually going to work out uh, in my favor quite a bit. So right now it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday? Wednesday or Thursday? I, I don't remember. Um, but anyways, uh, this past week, I'm going to say like a Monday, Tuesday, we actually had a little bit of a snowstorm, so we got almost a foot of snow. And I have someone come in and, and, and do the majority of the plowing here at the shop as well as up at the house. But there's one area where I, I like to do myself, just because I've got a lot of, I've got some masts back there and just some other um, odds and ends that uh, last year kind of got kissed a little bit by the plow truck. So I need to uh, go take care of that real quick because starting tonight, our high is, well, put it this way, our high for tomorrow is supposed to be five below Fahrenheit, five below zero Fahrenheit. So right now it's about 20. So now is the time for me to go and get that plowing done. It won't take me long. So here's a little bit of a funny story. Uh, I had full intentions of getting all this glass actually wetted out and down and done today. And I had four cans of what I thought was resin, you know, in, my, in the storage room. And, you know, didn't really think twice about it. All the, can, all the cans looked exactly the same. Yeah, figure I got four cans on hand and that should be, uh, you know, plenty to do this, uh, all this glass work. So after I got all this uh, the glass up here situated, I went to go pull the cans and try to get the, the staging area where I'm going to be doing all the, the, all the, all the mixing. I'm going to do all the mixing in the, in the back deck of this boat so I'm not going up and down ladders with uh, you know, cans of resin. So I went to go grab the cans off the, out of the storage, bring them up, and rather than having four cans of, of resin, I had two cans of resin. <laughs> and uh, a two-gallon mix of expanding foam. Not enough to do all the glasswork on here. Not sh I have no idea how that happened. Uh, again, you know, it's my oversight. I looked, at the, uh, I looked at all the cans, and they all looked identical and just kind of presumed that, well, you know, we're, we're good to go. But we're not. So unfortunately, uh, I had to make, uh, make a quick call. Get the get the other two cans of resin on there, you know, uh, loaded on a truck and on its way. So, gotta change gears a little bit. So, about six months ago, well, maybe it was a year. Honestly, I don't remember the days just blend together. But anyways, it, it's it's been a while. I'm kicking back on a Sunday afternoon, watching a little sail life, and there was a, a particular video where Moss introduced a new tool, and as soon as I saw that, I'm like. I gotta have that. I that 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 is just got my name written all over it. I need that. That would just be such a, a game changer, at least for the type of work that I do. So I got a hold of someone at the company there, and we've been chatting back and forth for well, probably about the last month, month and a half, maybe even no, I think about eh, anyways for the last month or two. So. Uh, just before I get into this, for full transparency, I just want to make this very, very clear that I purchased these tools. 
granted at a discounted rate, but I did purchase these. They are not uh, an, a sponsor of this channel. They are not uh, being paying me in anything to, uh, to, to talk about this or to bring it up on camera at all. This is something, again, like I had mentioned, that I wanted to, I wanted to get because I saw the potential in, in the product and I, for the type of work that I do, it's just a game changer. So, I ordered, I finally got, uh, got to the position where I could order this. And I placed the order on the 18th of January. Today is the 21st, 21st I believe, 18th. And it, got, it was delivered today. Now, that in and of itself doesn't necessarily sound like a, you know, a big deal, other than when you take into consideration, this package came from the Czech, the Czech Republic. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how you say it, if it's Czech, Czechia, Chechnya? It always sounds like it's Chechnya in movies, but by looking at how, how it's spelled, I think it's Chechia Prague. But anyways, it's in the Czech Republic. So it was shipped out there, and it landed here five days later. I mean, to me, that is just mind-blowing. I've had things get, you know, that take longer than that just to get from California to Wisconsin, which is just stupid, ridiculous. Anyways. This, uh, the, I have not opened it yet. The package has been sitting here since about 3 o'clock. I was thinking about it the whole time I was out plowing snow and you know, whatever. So I have been dying to actually open this up and, and see everything that's in here. So let's jump to it. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> say for flying halfway around the world, doesn't look like there's a bit of damage on any of this. So that is fan. Whoa. Ooh. Look at this. That. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you can see why I got so excited about this. I mean, think about all the sanding and the fairing and everything that I do. This is way, way better than anything I've ever been able to use before. So this is one of their, uh, one of their sanders, Velcro on the thing. But I mean, it's very flexible, which, dude, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. Well, the matching, okay, matching size. Except this one's for sanding because of the Velcro. This one is for actually spreading the, uh, the fairing compound. And again, just as flexible. Nice, sturdy, well built. Hmm, this is gonna be nice. Oh, it's a little baby version. Another little baby version of the trawler. Again, very, very, very good, well made. Ah, yes. That's pretty clever, actually. This is the, uh, basically the same version, well, the same size sanding board as the other one, except this one is set up for dustless. I don't know how well it's going to work. Um, I think I remember Moss mentioning that it worked ex very well, as long as you use the right sandpaper. And I believe what, uh, what I'm supposed to use with this is uh, the Abrinet uh, by Mirka. But it's the, uh, it's the Abrinet uh, sandpaper, I think. I'll have to double check with that. Guessing that these are the, the big boy versions of these ones. Ooh, baby. Dude, this is so nice. 
<laughs> I don't know how many people will be able to appreciate how, uh, how excited I am about this. Absolutely. Absolutely going to be a game changer for me. Absolutely incredible. I can't believe I did not know about this company. I mean, that just blows my mind. I don't know how, how young or, you know, how new of a company they are. But this is just, I don't know how I didn't know about this. I just straight up don't know. So this one, okay, so that's a, a trowler. That's for spreading out the, um, spreading out the fairing compound. sanding version of this. A little bit shorter, which that makes sense. I suppose, it, you know, if you're driving one of these things by hand, if they get too big, you know, or too long, trying to, you know, trying to maneuver them by yourself, just, yeah, it might be a little bit, a little bit tricky. But uh, this, this is good width. This is good size for one person. So that leaves one more package. And I will say that this is going to be the one that I am going to be most excited about. Primarily because I may be a 46 year old guy, but my body tells me every single day that I'm a lot closer to like 75 or 80. Primarily in my shoulders. So, this is potentially gonna become my most used tool in this shop for the type of work that I do. And that is an electric version of these sanders. Because I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. The thought of driving one of these things, of driving these by hand going like this for four or five hours, uh, I don't know that I'd be able to get out of bed the next day. I mean, to be perfectly honest. So being able to have a, uh, an electric version that is still Flexible, huge, absolutely huge for me. Now, the, <laughs> the only thing I gotta try and find a workaround is that uh, this is a European plug. And uh, I also believe that this runs off of 220 volts. Yep, 220 volts, 50 hertz, 750 watts. So I'm gonna need to get a, uh, like a, a converter or Something. I, I, I've got it pulled up on Amazon. Uh, but it's basically, it's a thing that'll take, uh, let's say, 120, step it up to 220, and vice versa. And I think it can also change if it's a 50 or 60 hertz uh, power signal. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. But this is going to be a game. Oh, there's even samples in here. <laughs> oh, squirrel. Before I button this video up, I want to give a huge thank you to Flexi Sander for working with me and being as patient as you were, because this, this process from when we first started up until now has been close to two months now that I'm really thinking about it. And uh, just, I want to just, again, just thank you so much for, uh, for all of your, your patience and your understanding and your help. I uh, truly, truly appreciate it. I cannot wait to give these things a workout. I can't remember the last time I've actually said, I can't wait to sand. <laughs> that just, it just sounds like an oxymoron. But anyways, and on that note, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please get a thumbs up. If you really didn't like this video, then you can hit thumbs down, but just do it twice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> anyways, uh, if you have any questions, comments, as always, leave those down below. I'll do my best to get back with you. And I always forget about subscribe. Yeah, the whole subscribe thing. You know, there's a little button down there somewhere. If you're not subscribed, please do so. I would truly appreciate it. And until next time, thank you for your time, and thank you for watching. This has been a Boatworks Today Protection.